this piece of plastic needs to be taken care of and that is exactly what we will be doing today. So in today's video we will be installing and I will give you a short review of MX-5 things clear wind deflector so it is a plexiglass sheet i believe which more or less has the same shape as the oem one and uh, it's obviously then see-through and that will make it easier because i want to mount my uh, action cam suction cup and also i will be installing a dash cam where we will have a rear facing camera and we don't have two million holes to see through and that will hopefully make it easier so let's see and also i want to, to experience if it makes any difference at all for the negative or for positive with regards to the actual wind deflection then so that is something that we will be talking about today as well and unboxing the product and installing it it should take 10 seconds i hope let's see but before we get on to that if you do like the content of the channel do remember to subscribe give the video a thumbs up if you like it hit that bell icon to stay notified when i upload new videos similar to this car detailing other modifications etc but without any further ado let's get on with the video let's see what's inside the box so i got this from mls in uk i will put a link down below i paid 115 pounds shipped to sweden then so it's not a cheap mod but hopefully a good one so there are different versions so there is one which is bigger there is also a regular size one but without the cutout etc but i chose the regular size with the cutout then and also you can get different type of etchings in the plexiglass and also there's a kit where you can actually illuminate the whole plexiglass sheet but i didn't opt for that before we start mounting anything i just wanted to show you the size difference so this is the regular size one with the cutout and there are even larger ones i don't know exactly how big they are because i haven't seen them but i would assume they are somewhere around here at the top edge then and that version is also available with a cutout and without the cutout and also if you then opted for an etching it would be something around here then what we can see is that on the oem clip there is some bit of felt tape i don't know if you can see that but on this one we don't have any such tape so let's see if that is there just to reduce rattle or why it's there and all these uh, fasteners and clips then are in plastic similar to the oyama but we can see that we have extra ones which will go against the roll bar and i believe i read in the manual here it says side clips must have a very tight contact with the four roll bars. If there is a gap between the side clips and the four roll bars, release the screw on each side clip. I would assume it's these then, but do not remove it and push the clips up to make a more tight fit. Once adjusted, tighten the screws. So let's get on with the installation and see how we are with regards to the fitment and if we need to do any adjustments. Before we move on with the installation, I just wanted to show you how the OEM one clips and clips out and what force is required and we will compare that to the MX-5 things with the deflector then. So I will be pushing this down with one finger and I can feel that it is going into place and it does require some force to get it out like so. Now let's try with the OEM things, wind deflector, and it says that the bottom portion of the deflector then should not be more than five millimeter. The gap between this edge here and the panel should not be more than five millimeters. So let's see if we can push this down into place. I don't want to push on the acrylic itself. And this doesn't actually give me any feedback that this is in place now or not. Let's see. And there shouldn't be that much play here. There is a bit of play. So let's see if we need to move these brackets up a bit without removing them as stated in the manual. Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy did this make a big difference i'm now speaking only from an appearance point of view we no longer have that black piece of plastic in between the headrests 
and this made it look much much cleaner and in my opinion this itself was worth all the money spent on this piece and hopefully then we have not reduced the wind deflection potentially we have increased it a bit because this is a little bit bigger but let's see but before we go on and testing we need to adjust these two side clips then to make it a little bit more snug and for that we will be using a Phillips screwdriver. We will try to make this more snug by pushing this clip a little bit upward so it gets tighter against this roll bar and for that then we will use a Phillips screwdriver and according to the manual we should not remove this clip we just should loosen the screw and Hopefully we were able to push this a bit upwards until it becomes really tight. Like so. Now it's sitting much tighter. We'll see, we'll adjust the other side and see if we need to come back and adjust this again. sitting much better than before so uh, I'll see if I will do some minor adjustments and then we'll take it out for a drive and see if it made any difference. Before we continue I hope the audio is satisfactory and that we don't have too much wind noise. I have been driving the car now for 30, 40, 50 minutes or so so I have fresh impressions to share with you all and let's start off with what was my main intention with this was to actually improve the visibility rearwards and it has absolutely done so in the rear view mirror when I'm turning my head etc it feels more airy I can actually see more which is top notch it is golden I didn't expect that it would actually make this much of a difference but it did so from that aspect it gets two big thumbs up and let's go to the second point and that is with regards to what it is actually made for which is deflecting wind and in my opinion, it might ever so slightly be even better than the OEM one. I have not at least experienced that it would be any worse than the OEM one, which is only a positive. And as I mentioned, then it might potentially even be a little bit better. So that is good. And the third thing I wanted to mention, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I wanted to mount my action camera, which you can see I have already done so. It might not be good doing excessive amount of G's because something might break I don't know but for this type of driving I have actually been driving it a bit hard as I have been uh, testing this out and it's been holding up but again then uh, the acrylic is not bonded so to speak with the uh, roll bar so you need to consider if you want to do similar thing that I have done here but also if you will be mounting a dash cam to it I think it will be no problems the facing rearwards is much lighter than an action cam so that is good if you have any questions at all just hit me up in the comment sections below and I will try to answer them the best I can if you do like the video give it a thumbs up do remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified and I'll be seeing you on the next one